In this video, I will consider one numerical on node analysis. Determine node voltages V1, V2, V3 and V4. Here we have four nodes. This is V1, V2, V3 and V4. We supposed to calculate voltages at these nodes. So this can be solved either using loop analysis or using node analysis. I will try to solve this using node analysis. So this is the given circuit. So in node analysis, the first step is we have to mark all branch currents. Let current through this branch is say I1. So in this branch already there is a current source we should ignore. Let current through this branch is I2. Let current through this branch is I3. Let current through this branch is I4. And here we have one more branch. Let current through this branch is I5. So in this circuit we can observe that this is reference node and its voltage is 0. We have to find V1, V2, V3 and V4 voltages with respect to this voltage because its voltage is 0. Here V1 is directly connected to ground through 3 volt voltage source. So we can say 3 one is nothing but 3 volts. Therefore I can write V1 is equal to 3 volts. So already we have found voltage at this node which is nothing but 3 volt. Now here one more thing we can observe. In between node V2 and V3 there is a voltage source. If voltage source is connected directly between two nodes, those two nodes are known as super nodes. So here V2 and V3 are super nodes. As there is a voltage source, dependent voltage source, it is voltage dependent voltage source is connected. So I can write V2 and V3 are super nodes. So when V2 and V3 are super nodes, the algebraic sum of currents at super node is always 0. That is algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is 0. So now let me analyze this branch. So here positive terminal is connected to V3, negative terminal is connected to V2. I can write it as V3 minus V2 is equal to we have 0.15 Vx. So here Vx is nothing but voltage across 4 ohm register. So I can write Vx as Vx is equal to V3 minus V4 because positive is connected to V3, negative is connected to V4. I can write Vx is nothing but V3 minus V4 that is V3 minus V4. Let me call it as equation 1. So now I will substitute this Vx value in this equation. I can write V3 minus V2 is equal to 0 0.15 Vx or I can write 0 0.15 so here Vx is nothing but V3 minus V4 or I can write V3 minus V2 is equal to 0 0.15 V3 minus 0 0.15 V4 or I can write V3 minus V2 minus 0 0.15 I will take this 0 0.15 V3 left hand side V3 plus 0 0.15 V4 is equal to 0 or I can write it as minus V2 so V3 minus 0 0.15 V3 is nothing but plus 0 0.85 V3 plus 0 0.15 V4 is equal to 0. Let me call it as equation 2. So now we will try to analyze V2 and V3. As I said here, algebraic sum of currents at super node is always 0. Now let's see what all currents are at V2 and what all are currents at V3. That is, now I can list that is currents at node V2. That is, at node V2, here current I1 is outgoing, current 4 amp is incoming. So we know that I will take incoming current as positive, outgoing current as negative. So it is plus 4 and it will be minus I1. 
so here 4 is one current which is incoming and I1 is leaving so I will take it as minus I1. So here there exist only two currents. If we think of node V3, I2 and I3 will come into the picture. Both are living. So I can write here currents at node V3 are we have two currents. One is I2 and I3 both are living. I can write it as minus I2 minus I3. These are the currents. So according to the definition, algebraic sum of currents at super node is 0. It means that sum of these all currents is equal to 0. So I can write 4 minus I1 minus I2 minus I3. That is algebraic sum of currents is equal to 0. Or I can write 4 is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Or I can write 4 is equal to I will try to express all currents in terms of node voltages. I1 is, so here we can see I1 is V2 minus V1 divided by 1. So I1 can be expressed as V2 minus V1 divided by 1 plus we have I2. So I2 is nothing but V3. So voltage at this node is 0. So V3 by 2. I2 is nothing but V3 by 2. That is v3 by 2 plus let me check i3 so i3 is nothing but the current flowing from v3 towards v4 so i can write i3 is nothing but v3 minus v4 divided by 4 that is v3 minus v4 divided by 4 now let me simplify this that is 4 is equal to so here already we have found v1 its voltage is 3 so i can write V2 minus 3 plus divided by 1 means I will ignore. V3 by 2 plus here we have V3 by 4 minus V4 by 4. Let me simplify. 4 is equal to. So here we have only one V2 term that is V2. I will take this minus V minus 3 on this side. It will become 4 plus 3 that is 4 plus 3. So here V3 by 2, v, V3 by 4, I can write it as 3 by 4 V3 minus V4 by 4. Sanvi, Anna? So further I can simplify this as 4 plus 3 is 7 is equal to. So here we have V2 plus 3 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.75. 0 0.75 V3. Then we have minus 0 0.25 V4. So let me call it as equation 3. So now we have analyzed V1 v2 and v3 so another node is v4 now let me apply kcl to node v4 that is apply kcl to node v4 so here kcl says that incoming current is equal to outgoing current here i4 i5 and i3 are all incoming in incoming current so i can write it as I3 plus I4 plus I5 is equal to 0. So now let me express all currents in terms of node voltages. So I3 is nothing but V3 minus V4 by 4. V3 minus V4 by 4 plus I4 is nothing but V1 minus V4 by 2. V1 minus V4 by 2 plus I5 is nothing but here it is voltage is current is shown in this direction it means its voltage is 0 that is 0 minus V4 by 3 that is minus V4 by 3 so I can write it as minus V4 by 3 is equal to 0 I can simplify this V3 by 4 minus V4 by 4 plus V1 by 2 minus v4 by 2 minus v4 by 
3 is equal to 0. If I this as here there is only one V3, so I can write 0 0.25 V3. So here minus 1 by 4 V4. Here it is minus V4 by 2 minus V4 by 3. That is considering this term, this term and this term. That is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. So V2 will be minus 1.08 V3 V4 plus so V1 is already found that is 3 volt. So 3 by 2 is 1.5 is equal to 0 or I can write minus 1.5 is equal to 0 0.25 V3 minus 1.0833. V4. Let me call it as equation 4. Now with the help of equation 2, equation 3 and equation 4. We are supposed to solve equation 2, 3, 4 to find V2, V3 and V4. So these are the three equations I have written here. By solving equation 2, 3, 4. So this can be solved directly using calculator. Here the variables are V2, V3 and V4. So solving this directly using calculator keep the calculator in equation mode choose three unknowns and directly feed the values here coefficient of v2 is minus 1 v3 is 0 0.85 v4 is 0 0.15 here coefficient of v2 is 1 v3 is 0 0.75 v4 is minus 0 0.25 here coefficient of v2 is 0 v3 is 0 0.25 and v4 is minus 1.08 so feeding these values we will get V2 is equal to 4.21 volts. V3 is equal to 4.52 volts. And V4 is equal to 2.42 volts. So already we have found V1 that is V1 is equal to 3 volts. Thus we found V1, V2, V3 and V4 using node analysis. Thank you for watching.